Something extraordinary happened behind the scenes of our universe on November 23rd, 2023. A fleeting whisper in the cosmos, just lasting about a fraction of a second, hit the detectors here on Earth. This signal, now dubbed as GW231123, marks the most massive black hole merger ever recorded. Hello and welcome to Pure Science with me, Somya Pillai. And let me tell you more about what is believed to be the biggest black hole merger ever. Now, like you might have already guessed, this wasn't your average cosmic collision. It involved two black holes weighing in at approximately 140 and 100 times the mass of our sun. When they collided, the result was a behemoth a 225 solar mass black hole that shattered the previous records of about 142 solar masses. Now, why is this such a big deal? According to current theories, black holes this size, which is larger than the range of 60 to 130 times the mass of the sun, should not exist. There is something in astrophysics called the mass gap, which is a range of stellar masses roughly two to five solar masses where no confirmed objects have been observed. Basically, it stems from a theory that when a star is too massive, it is expected to explode in a way that leaves nothing behind. No black hole, just empty space. But in this case, scientists have found two black holes inside that forbidden zone. And on top of that, both black holes were spinning extremely fast faster than most we have ever seen. And this is the part that has gotten scientists thinking. Because for black holes to spin at that fast a rate, they usually have to merge more than once. This indicates that these black holes may not be the first generation at all. They might have come from previous black hole mergers and then merged again. Now that this first of its kind cosmic merger has been recorded, naturally the next question is where could something like this happen? Scientists believe that this type of repeated merging could occur within active galaxies, which feature a supermassive black hole at their center and a large amount of gas swirling around it. It is the kind of chaotic environment where black holes could be pulled together repeatedly and growing into monsters like the one that has been recorded now. There is another theory. Some scientists think that these black holes might be primordial. This means that they didn't form from stars at all. They might have formed right after the Big Bang when the universe was still seconds old. These are still just theories, but if confirmed, they could help us understand how the universe began. Scientists are now digging deeper into the data. They are looking to see if this black hole merger also created a flash of light, which could be unusual, but possible if the merger happened in a gas-rich environment. If they can find that flash and trace it to a galaxy, they could use the data to help solve another mystery. How fast is the universe expanding? That is called the Hubble constant. And right now, scientists are getting different answers depending on how they measure it. This black hole merger might help clear things up. These findings don't just show the biggest black hole merger we know of, but they also tell us how these black holes challenge our ideas of how stars live and die. They might even give us a glimpse of what was happening just seconds after the Big Bang. Think about this. If black holes this big are out there, what else are we missing? Maybe the power of gravitational waves is not just telling us what is out there, but it is also showing us things about this vast universe that we still do not know. That was all from me. I am Somya Pillai and you were watching Pure Science.